To be honest, I really, really thought that this was going to be the game of the year, or rather the gacha of the year of 2021 for me. However, the gacha gods had other plans, and so unfortunately, I did have to quit this. But today, we have some exciting announcements and news regarding Counter Side. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lace, and today we're going to be talking about Counter Side, the global confirmation, the CBT announcement, and all of the other kind of context that probably you're going to need to decide whether you want to actually play this game or not. And so just a little bit of a table of contents kind of thing. First, I will talk about, I'll talk about Counterside itself as well as the global version, the current situation, what is being released, what may actually come. So I'm talking like potentially uh, accelerated pace or even launching with some of the quality of life that has been implemented in some of the latest servers. After that, I will talk about how I feel about it because I certainly did play the C release for Counterside. And then of course, I will talk about why exactly I quit the game. Spoiler, it wasn't really 100% because of the game itself. It's honestly quite a fantastic game. And so with that being said, let me give you guys a quick rundown of what Counterside is. So essentially, as you can see here, it is Battle Cats, but with gorgeous anime-like characters. It's certainly like a left to right kind of thing. So your team is on the left, the enemy is on the right, and then you will progressively push towards the right and try to wipe out their battleship. So as you can see over here, they have their battleship over there, and then we have our battleship over that side apparently okay i think my camera is inverted it's actually that side so as of today there are currently five servers i believe korea taiwan southeast asia japan and cn with the oldest server korea launching two years ago as for me and the footage that you are seeing on the screen this was southeast asia server with a lot of english actually the majority was english and this bad boy was released mid last year which is why i'm saying like man this really could have been one of like the greatest games of 2021 in terms of the server that was most recently released, that was the JP server, and it had an accelerated schedule, but it also came apparently with a lot of the quality of life updates that the Korean server had. So I'm talking things like skips. And before we go on, I do want to mention, I know a lot of people are gonna ask this, but it is very, very, very unlikely that if you are playing on the C server that you will not be able to migrate your accounts over to global. I know uh, I thought it'd be pretty straightforward that like most people would expect not to be able to, but I need to just put that out there because it is pretty much a zero chance that you can actually do that. Like, for God's sake, they're not even going to have the same publisher. All right. And so before we jump into the global release, let me show you guys quickly the revenues if you did want to see them. This one over here is the KR revenue. So for just Android, they are looking at 500K, which is honestly quite decent, right? And then we're looking over here for the C server for Android. It's 70K plus 30K from iOS. However, what I do need to mention is that remember that there is a PC client on launch for all five of those servers that I mentioned before. And so now let's start talking, I guess, about the global version and where we're at. So in terms of global, we recently, very recently, like in the last five hours, I think, had an announcement for all of the official socials, including the official website. So I'm gonna come over here. This is the official website for global, as you can see at global.counterside.com. And then smack bang in the middle, there is closed beta testing coming soon. I, I think that really speaks for itself. There's not really much I can say. However, you are gonna notice that there is an icon for Apple Store and there is an icon for Google Play. Don't worry guys, I'm like 99.99999999% uh, sure that there is going to be a PC client. Because like I said, all of those other servers got a PC client and it would be really freaking weird for us not to get one. Although I have heard of the global shaft. All right, so that is where we are at. We've got the global announcement. We've got the closed beta announcement. However, there are actually no dates soon. And so for this next part, I wanna talk more about like how exactly I feel about this game. Because again, I certainly went through a first impressions and a game review and I actually played for like, I think maybe a month or two more than that. And I certainly got to end game. I was grinding out the event. I was playing PVP. I actually engaged quite a fair bit with this game. So first of all, I think you guys can already tell, right? This bad boy has some like ultra high production value. And what I mean by that is that there are just like an insane amount of these animations. We've got like so many effects going on. The colors are great. The designs are fantastic. And in terms of voice acting, I'm pretty sure like every single character, including the robots, had voice acting, at least like KR voice acting. As for the designs themselves, they were all like, in my opinion, top tier. They kind of had like a something for everybody, if you know what I mean. But on top of that, there was like an insane amount of live 2D. You see live 2D over here, you see live 2D over there. And when we actually get into like the character menu, you're gonna see live 2D everywhere. So let's click into one over here. Uh, there we go, we got Kyle over here and he is indeed live 2D. 
if we keep scrolling across we got kathy wade like my god guys look at that even the truck the freaking truck is live 2 d okay so just speaking in terms of like the korean voice acting i know that for a lot of people this was a deal breaker for me it was okay however the news that I've seen is that there is actually JP voice acting, especially because they have launched on JP server. And so, well, first of all, if I'm wrong, please correct me. But second of all, if I'm right, let's hope that this is actually going to come across to the global server. In terms of the generosity itself, so here is, oh my God, dude, guys, the office, okay. Oh my God, all of these memories flooding back. My guys, both of my favorite characters are on this screen. We've got Gaon over here and Lumi over here. Just wanted to point it out. These are top tier designs. And then personally, man that office lady that comes right after here it's like oh my god what the frick she's like an npc or something man like papa bless the korean studio that put this one together you know what i'm saying anyway so i wanted to talk about recruitment and generosity because this game was insanely insanely generous so if i scroll back a little bit to the first banner you'll see this guy over here and if you read this down here 10 free recruits a day during the event for 21 more days and i don't know how long i've been playing this game but what you can see is that this one over here up to 160 free recruits during the event this was the bloody launch event and combining that with like the insane generosity they were just like literally throwing pulls at you so as you can see you got 29 pulls over here and i got a whole bunch of jemmies the game was just like insanely insanely free to play friendly uh to the point where i was like wait how the heck are they making money and i soon found that out however we can talk about that one a little bit later and so to just finish off the generosity point before i quit i actually had i'm pretty sure like 85 percent of all of the ssrs although there is a chance that i was like a little bit lucky in terms of the combat itself i actually personally quite liked it there's quite a lot of like the tactical element right so you can see the need to be actually like using those active skills to be able to place those shields down to be able to place the buffs stuff like that and there's a lot of timing involved however do not be scared off because there is the auto button and there is the times two speed there is a lot of these quality of life things and from what i hear again there might be skip and so as for pvp it is what you see on the screen we've got the rank battle as well as the strategy battle the best way to put pvp is that like it's more like participation rewards rather than ranking rewards personally i really like that especially in the context of like these pve games i like a focus on pve with some pvp where it doesn't really matter too much and if i scroll back a little bit you'll see over here one of them is actually a real-time arena and the other one is kind of like your ghost battles which most of us are familiar with but as for the pvp experience itself like all i can remember is like getting gangbanged by a whole bunch of different robots which is kind of weird as well as this old man over here it was um it was kind of weird but yeah like all in all i really really enjoyed my time with this game there was quite a lot to do and that's actually going to feed into one of my other points actually like i said high production value music was good animations were insane a lot of live 2d ui was great we we're running at like 120 fps i'm pretty sure everything was silky silky smooth and in terms of all of the systems i would say that there weren't any bad ones all right so let's start talking about why exactly i quit and the first thing was for me personally was that it got exceptionally exceptionally grindy so you can see this guy up here 8650 uh that is stamina i would wake up i would turn on my pc and then turn on this pc client and set it to auto grind for ages and then i'd level and then i'd set it to auto grind again for ages and then i would like pick up some extra stamina from the day for gifts because like the generosity was incredible and then i would auto grind again and then again and again and again however on top of that if i remember correctly i think there were also a couple of other great games coming out at the time as well like alchemy stars and so with like the grind of this one i was just like i couldn't keep up so i decided to drop it there were certainly a couple of other reasons so one of them was the awakened units let me try find one for you and so you'll see over here we have the awakened now you've been awakened so you and i'm so sorry if i butchered those names i am not freaking well versed in korean but tldr these awakened units are essentially kind of like in a tier of their own but you needed a separate currency to be able to roll for them so i think you had to either use those gems or you had to use black cards instead of the blue cards as you can see over here and so that also kind of contributed a little bit towards me quitting the next thing that i do want to talk about are the skins the skins are like so freaking top tier holy moly mama bless just look at that my guys look at that 
However, they were kind of like exceptionally expensive. I could not stomach like most of them. I think it was maybe like 20 bucks a skin, maybe like 25. This is AUD. But to be honest, it's kind of like the price that you have to pay when the rest of the game is very free to play friendly, right? And so lastly, if you go ahead and actually watch my video, I think you will see that there are an insane amount of systems. Let me see if I can get over to here. But essentially you can see like the amount of menus, right? And then within all of these menus, there are also like more menus. So I'm talking like you got to upgrade your characters and then you got to upgrade your gear. And then you got to like in those gears, there are like three different types of upgrades. And then you got like the dispatch system and then arena. I know it sounds like very, very normal, but for some reason for this game, it was just like very, very overwhelming. However, with all of those points considered, I do want to say guys, like this is an insanely good game. This was actually probably, like I said, one of the contenders for gacha of the year for 2021 for myself. However, unfortunately, I ultimately ended up quitting. And so yeah, I guess that's that. And so my guys, that's actually going to bring us to the end of the video. I do want to pass off the question to you guys though. Did you play Counterside C? And if so, or if not, are you excited to actually go ahead and play Counterside Global? If you guys did play or are still playing, let me know. But if you did quit, let me know also why exactly you left the game. And so if you guys do actually end up dropping a comment down below, I would really appreciate that because it means you've watched up until the end of the video. So thank you guys so much. If you did enjoy this video, please consider a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more, then please consider a subscribe. But otherwise, my guys, as Lumi once said, all good things must come to an end. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye bye.